Good morning, guys. This ankle is so weird. But I just woke up. I've been like awake for a while, but like I've been dozing in and out of sleep. So this is like my first time like actually getting up. And now I'm going to officially get myself ready for today. Um, they called for rain, and it definitely did rain earlier. So it's not as like hot and sunny as it was yesterday. Kind of sucks. Um, we were trying to do like helicopters today, but we might not be able to do that because of the weather, and we might just save that for tomorrow. I'm so sad, guys, because we're leaving tomorrow. But hopefully we can still do some fun things um, today and then tomorrow. But definitely one of the things we want to do is get back down to the beach. So that's why, sorry, that's why, um, that's why we're going to go, like today. Even though it's, like I said, it's not as hot as it was yesterday. I think it's like 66 degrees right now um, or something like that. But it's getting kind of sunny. Like earlier it was like really rainy, really rainy and gloomy. But now the sun is starting to come. So I think we're still going to go. So I'm not all dressed and everything. I hate when it glares like that. You guys can see I put on my bathing suit and my little uh, cover-up thing. My little towel cover-up. And I just have to spare you guys the whole get ready with me. But basically I did the exact same thing as I did yesterday. So now we're about to head out and go to the beach. It's actually getting more sunny. The sun is actually starting to come out. So that's a good thing. So I know that you guys can probably barely hear me because it's very windy today. So sorry if you guys can hear me. I'm probably just going to do a lot of montage for today's beach part of the vlog because it's very windy, but it's super pretty. It's like, I don't know, 66 degrees, I think. So it's not super hot, but it's manageable. We just came back inside for a minute because we wanted to get on our like clothes, semi clothes, and then we're gonna go scoopy. All right, y'all. So it has been a very long time since I talked to y'all. It's like currently nighttime. It's around 7:21. We thought that we were gonna go out and do some things, but we're gonna leave that out for tomorrow. We're going home tomorrow. I'm really sad, but. We're still going to have a good time. I do still have on a full face of makeup, which I need to take it off because I'm sitting here shining like KFC chicken and we don't like that. The meat lover's club. talking a little low because everybody is still sleeping right now and I don't want to wake anybody up but I just woke up this is our last day here I'm so sad but don't worry we're gonna be doing some fun stuff to end off our trip um it's currently let me show you guys the time it's currently 8.04 in the morning and I just got up I'm about to make myself a cup of coffee and I think I'm gonna go down to the beach um so that's what the plan is and yes I'm not gonna vlog too much down there just because I've obviously been vlogging a lot down there, but this is a beach vlog, so I don't know. I might record down there, I don't know, but yeah. Okay, so I'm officially dressed and ready to go. Let me show you guys in the mirror over here. So this is kind of a look. Don't mind the beds, we're literally leaving today, but you guys can see this is a fit. I really feel like I'm just like getting comfortable on my own skin to where I can wear stuff like this. Just be confident. <laughs> And now guys, we're about to go and do something that we've never done before. We're gonna go and ride in a helicopter. We have never even rode on a plane before, so this is like something like 
we're taking little baby steps towards riding a plane one day but um, is, um so yeah basically we are going to ride on the helicopter i'm so excited very nervous but i'm mostly just excited okay guys so we are finally here about to do helicopter rides i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun my little brother's gonna do it too beware if i pass out um she can have all my stuff you heard Except it here four -wheeler. Except it's four wheeler four wheeler but you heard it here first folks are you excited nervous how are you feeling i'm scared i'm excited i'm just excited so here we go so, we're about to, firstly, we gotta get some tickets. I don't know if you guys can probably hear that in the background, but a helicopter is taking people up right now. You know, we're pretty much, we're pretty much getting ourselves like set up for it. They had to weigh us and everything. Look, there's people taking off right now. You guys can kind of see it. So there's people already taking off, but we're going on next. It's me and Megan that my two brothers are gonna go. So literally, I'm so excited. But we're just waiting to board the helicopter. Hello? <laughs> Bye, Baba. We're waiting for them to come back. The anticipation is killing us. We're waiting for the helicopter to come back so we can have our turn. <laughs> crazy literally this hat looks crazy on camera but i promise like in real life it's actually really cute um like it's really cute anyways guys so we are about to head into the fun house right now It was a lot of fun, had a good time, and everything like that. Our doll show. Obviously, you can see I got on. Obviously, you can see I got on my swimsuit, and everything, and I got on these gray shorts. But we're gonna go to the beach for one last time. One last time. Test this coffee. Ooh. So we are now at McDonald's. We just came back from the helicopters. What would you rate your experience? Um, it was a ten, completely. I wish it would last it longer. And I forgot my iced coffee in the uh, van, but um, I had a French vanilla. And um, I got a hazelnut coffee, and I would rate my um, I would rate my helicopter experience definitely a ten. It was like such good vibes and everything. But now we're going to eat our food and head back on the road because yeah. we're going home, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to go home. Me neither. I'm so sad, but here we go. And yeah, so this is our last little bit in Myrtle Beach.
Hey guys, it's like, I don't know, it's been two days. Let me try to set y'all up because this is not going to work. So hopefully this is a little bit better. But basically, like I said, it's been, I want actually, I don't know if it's been two days. Maybe it's been a day and a half since I last talked to you guys. I finally got around to editing part two. Um, so this vlog, as you guys know, I just had to split the uh, Myrtle Beach trip up in two parts because the first part is like 22 minutes. And I obviously, this part is probably... I don't know, I, I just finished editing this last night and I think it was at 10 minutes. So if you add 10 to 22, do the math, what's that? It's 32 minutes. I don't know, I feel like for me, I can watch 32 minute videos, but I've never put a video out that long and I didn't want my first long, super long, long, long vlog to be like a travel vlog because I really want people, because I really want you guys to like be able to watch it and like see all of the really exciting points in the vlog and not get like so overwhelmed with like the amount of footage there is if that makes sense so i decided to break it up it's still long vlogs obviously 22 minutes that's still a good lengthy vlog and i don't know how long this vlog is going to be because i'm also adding clips of today and talking to you guys so hopefully this one can also be somewhat lengthy but i know it's not going to be as long as part one i'm just going to say that so but i did want to just kind of come on here and to talk to you guys we're back reality has hit set in so hard I really did not want to go home like I can't I really did not want to go home I don't know I had a really good time I feel like weekend trips are so much fun because they're just jam-packed with like lots of fun and just doing great things but it goes by so quick and then before you know it you blink and you're back home and you're like oh my goodness where did I even go <laughs> but it was so much fun I really enjoyed this trip it was I don't know, I feel like the older you get, you can kind of plan your trips more and you can kind of do more things and then, I don't know. So I feel like in the past, I'm not saying that any of our past trips to Rhode Beach haven't been fun because they definitely have, but now we're like getting older and we just kind of know what we want and we know what our kind of fun is. And so, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but just I'm just saying this trip was like a great trip. I really feel like it was our trip because we... Did all the things that we wanted to do. Megan and I have been talking about getting on a helicopter for like years at this point because um, we just have always wanted to do that. I think obviously next step is I'm getting on a plane baby and ain't nobody tell me nothing um, but I really want to like travel. That's like my dream is to just travel and obviously I know you can't go everywhere in a car. I mean you could but I don't want to do that. I, just, I don't know. I love road trips but not super long road trips. I think like two to six hours okay I'm good Anything past that, I'm going to have to take a rain check because I'm just not liking to be in the car that long. That's why I'm really interested in, like, being on planes and, like, going on boats and things like that because those are other, like, forms and ways of traveling and I want to get comfortable with them so that when I travel and when I go to other places, like, when I do it on my own, you know, I'll already be accustomed to it. So that's why I really wanted to get on a helicopter because it's just, like, that first baby step towards getting on a plane or you know other things like that in my next trip i'm hoping that we can get on a boat because that's something i really want to do as well i've never been on a boat before either you guys so that's something else that i want to do definitely i would say for sure the highlight of the trip was the helicopters because it was so much fun it was a great first time experience it was amazing and like going over the ocean the views it was super pretty and it just makes me think like on a plane it's probably like 10 times more beautiful than that because you're like getting up into the clouds and like I don't know guys I'm just thinking about it and it's probably so pretty so I can't wait to experience that one day that was the highlight of the trip but obviously every single day we had fun I loved um that we got to spend every single day at the beach because that's something that in the past we didn't really get to do because we were just so focused on other things and then at the end of the day we were just so tired that we didn't go to the beach um or we were too busy but I'm glad that me and Megan we made like the effort to wake up earlier than everybody to get up to the beach and we got to do a lot of the things that we wanted and I just I'm so happy it was such a good trip. It's definitely something we needed, like a little getaway from just everything. But that's why reality is hitting so hard because I'm like, boom, I'm back and college is hitting me, work is hitting me, everything is hitting me, and I'm like, Oh my goodness, <laughs> I just got back. Please hold on. The other highlight was the fact that I held a jellyfish because I've always seen jellyfish when we go down to Myrtle Beach, whether alive or dead. <laughs> I see them all the time. They're like on the beach or in the water. So it's not like every time I see a jellyfish, I think that it's so cool because jellyfish look really, really cool. I have this picture of this jellyfish. I probably already included it in the vlog, but I have this picture of this jellyfish and I genuinely feel like the picture is so 
mesmerizing and it's so pretty so i'm gonna like try to pick it up for you guys even though like i said i've already included it in the vlog and this is a jellyfish i picked up i don't know okay something about this picture is so mesmerizing and i look at it and like the details of the jellyfish it's so cool and i picked that up i'm so proud of myself i think that was really cool my brother told me how to um pick it up basically you have to pick it up by like the big bobbly head or something I, he called it another word like a bill or something he said but that's what you're supposed to pick pick them up by obviously if you pick them up from the bottom you are going to get stung and it is going to hurt just saying that if you guys ever want to pick up a jellyfish never pick it up from the bottom because that is where they can sting you and this is something cool that i just found out is that even if a jellyfish is dead it can still sting you so just be careful you guys um obviously if you don't know then you don't know and you shouldn't do it but <laughs> i'm just telling you guys that in case you do want to do it but it was a really cool thing because i've always been afraid of like animals or anything like moving things and I also have like a lot of issues with things that are like I don't know what you call it like textures of things it really like mm, you know it messes me up so I was so proud of myself for being able to do that and it just opened up the way for me to do a lot more stuff going into other future trips and things so I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys I know I've been sitting here rambling and talking but I just had a lot that I wanted to say to kind of just catch you guys up and talk about the trip so yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you enjoyed these more beach vlogs. And see you guys next time. Remember, I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Come on those days, you have a video for me to watch every single time. All right, bye-bye. Peace out, Andrew babies.